Hi, everybody. How are we doing tonight? Maria Romano here from True Love Knots. Sorry, sometimes just with all the technology going on, it could be definitely challenging. So how was your week? How was your week? Here we are at almost the end of the summer. Who would have thought, right? Who would have thought that we would be in the midst still? Some of us had to cancel our travel plans. So a lot of us has had to cancel our travel plans if we were traveling outside of the country. Up, maybe up until the first quarter now of 2021, we just don't know. I was planning to go to the south of France. I was so excited. I was going to be uh, docking in just the different areas of the Loire and get to sip wine and drink and eat and, of course, put on a few pounds and come home and exercise it off. But that's the fun of going on vacation. But you know what? Now my home became my retreat. And I know many of you also, your home is now your retreat. And some of you also, just now you have children at home, maybe grandkids, children, and you're starting school, right? Oh gosh. And I know it has to be just quite overwhelming, especially with all the Zoom going on with school kids and you have to make sure you have the right computer and the technology works. Heck, I know all the time I have to make sure my technology is working. Oh, don't mind my dog. Come on, Simba. Nobody wants to hear you. And Simba, with that name, a lion, a little papillon, 14 pounds. So anyway, tonight I want to talk to you about launching yourself. Now, in the midst of all this pandemic, there are a lot of people we feel stifled, right? We're almost in a state of stasis where we're just, we're going to, we're decaying because we just don't know what to do to take that first step. So I want you to know that Microsoft, Uber, Lyft, some of those companies, which are quite large, they launched their product in the midst of the downturn of the economy. And they still launched it and they still became successful. So what if you were to just take a moment and think about what's holding you back from finding love? What's stopping you? Is it because you're afraid? You're afraid of rejection? Heck, this is what I tell everybody. I had so much rejection. It was like getting into a boxing ring with Mike Tyson. And let me tell you something, I still have the scars. I'm definitely no match for him. Now, what's, what's, what are you afraid of? And the rejection portion of it, or maybe you are just not too sure how to maneuver the different platforms because we all know dating is the same, but the platforms of dating have changed, how to meet people. Or maybe you're just thinking, you know, you're too old, you're outdated. No, no, let me tell you something. That's not true. Everybody can find love. There are 7 billion people on the planet. Right now, there's roughly about 110 million Americans that are out there single, just so that you know, so there's a great pool to pull from. And there's, oh, there is somebody out there for you. But the reason I wanted to talk to you about launching yourself and making sure, ask those questions, what's holding you back and what's stopping you from finding love? Now, I hold three different meetup groups, and I do have online Zoom cocktail parties. And one of the things is I've a lot of people, a, lot, a good majority, are waiting because they're waiting for COVID to pass. They're waiting for the right time. Well, there really isn't ever a right time. And what you should be doing is getting yourself ready. So maybe you should start doing some self-analysis, self-growth you can be doing. And maybe you're just, you're not too sure about launching yourself online. Well, you know what you can do? Join some meetup groups. I've got three of them, Finding Love in Las Vegas, uh, True Love Knots Tribe, and Elevate Your Dating Experience. Come on, jump on a phone call. It's okay. You have a camera, you take your sippy cup with your adult beverage, you join us, you get to meet people. And not just my meetup group, there's a plethora, a plethora of meetup groups all over, all over Las Vegas, all over the country. This is a great platform that you can use if you're not too sure about getting back in the dating world. And what's great, this will get you to practice some of your social skills. Now, I know some of you are saying, I'm pretty good with my social skills. Well, let me tell you something. We can always, always use some practice. 
You know, let me tell you, you go out there, right? And you spend money elevating your golf game and you spend money ele elevating yourself physically. You want to look good. And you also might go out and find somebody to help you with your clothing. You need to elevate your dating life. That's right. You need to elevate your dating life. That's why you need a dating coach. Just so that you know. And I wonder who that dating coach is. Huh? But Meetup, we're getting back to Meetup seriously is a great platform that you can start dabbling, especially if you're not too sure about the online dating world. Okay, that's one way to look at it. And if you are in the online dating world, look at revamping, revamp your profile. But that might be great. Let's see who's coming on and trying to talk to me right now. All right, well, uh, let's close this tab. Anybody out there, let me know. Let me know where you're from. So, you know, ramp up. Look at your profile. Take a look at it. Have somebody look at it. Look at your pictures. Okay. This is the time to elevate, to time to pop yourself. As a matter of fact, I'm probably going to be doing a webinar on how to make your profile stand out, how to stand out from the rest of the crowd. And when I do, I'll make sure I post it on Facebook. And also, too, I, as, as I get back to Meetup, like I said, Meetup is a great platform. You can meet people. What I like about online dating is at least you've got a bit of information. You find out the person's divorced. Of course, I know that means they need to be honest, but believe it or not, that's only a small percentage of people that are out there trolling, that are still in a relationship, they're married or dedicated to someone else. But you have an idea of what their likes are, what their dislikes are. Although, on Meetup, there are different platforms and different groups. You know, maybe you're interested in hiking or maybe you're interested in, in talking about books or movies. Like I said, there is a ton of Meetup groups. Sign up for as many as you can. Most of them are all online, which is great. You might even find some events on Eventbrite that and you get to meet some other people in the area. So be open to that. Don't, don't just say, I'm going to wait. Do something. You need to take action with your love life. Because like I've said to you before, Prince or Princess Charming is not going to come to your door. You know, we've been told lies for our whole life that true love is a product of chance. But true love is not a product of chance. It's a choice. And when you have a game plan and you find the right dating coach too, and you have a proven method that has been successful many times over, you can check out my site, truelovenuts.com. You can find love again because you're worth it because it's important that you amp up your game in the dating world. And that's why people are seeking out different coaches. And what sets me apart from the other coaches is I have experienced the dating world. I was married for 33 years. I lost my husband eight years ago. And I know what it's like to get back into the dating world. Believe me, like I said, I got my rear end kicked, but that's okay. I picked up the pieces, I dusted off myself, and I documented everything I went through, and I documented a process that I guarantee you will give you a roadmap so you can find love again. So take action with your love life. The first thing is you need to take action and ask yourself what's holding you back because everybody deserves to be happy. And that's what's important. And you know what? I want my long, hard journey to be your shortcut to happiness. And that's important. So get motivated, get moving. If you don't wanna put yourself online, then just move on to Meetup. And if you're thinking about going online, you're not too sure, you know what? Book a clarity call with me. I have an online assessment profile that I can help you with. I have a class that I can actually give you and I can help you make sure that your dating profile and what your pictures you use stands out because you know what? You do want to stand out. It's no different than if you were out there getting a job, right? You make sure that your resume looks great. You'll spend money to have somebody even beef up your resume, wouldn't you? highlighting, highlighting all of your assets, highlighting the things that you have accomplished, highlighting your skills, the same thing with your dating life, and even your picture, right? Your picture has to stand out as well. 
So look at it the same way, getting yourself ready to get back into the dating world, but don't wait. September is a huge, huge month for getting out there and finding love. A lot of people are going to be online. A lot of people are going to be on meetup. Eventually, we're going to have a lot of the venues open up to full capacity, and that will happen. Even though it's not right immediate, that will happen. So get yourself ready to launch yourself because you don't want to leave leave yourself there in the dust, right? While everybody's passing you. Remember, it's like a horse race and you want to be able to put money on yourself and find somebody for you. So I just want to tell everybody, have a great week. I'll be back again next week. If there's anything you'd like to talk to me about, I'm going to put my email address here and email me. If you have a question about your love life, listen, I'm here for you. I'm here for you. So go out, everybody have a great evening, make the best of it. Make sure you stay healthy, stay safe, and always remember to spread love. Have a great evening, everybody. Bye.